I like organic things, growing things, uh, animals, faces, something that's alive. I like my artwork to be alive. So uh, we, I discussed it with myself. So I talked to myself. Now, good thing is I don't answer. <laughs> but I do say, what, what can we do? How can we do this? So I just thought about it, and we had those, that flywheel that we still have, the horseshoes that we still have, and a couple other things that I've added since then. Um, but I came up with this formula of cutting the horseshoes in half, um, putting them together, and making these flowers. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Back in high school, I took pottery, which was 42 years ago, I hate to say, but I'm that old. So I, that's my only art class I've ever had in my life, is I took a pottery class in my senior year in high school. And that's another story, too. They said there was naked women in there. Well, that got my attention. <laughs> so I went and I took pottery. Uh, I did it till 1992 when they closed down the pottery shop in Inglewood. Fast forward to 2003, I was 49, uh, going through my midlife crisis, married 15 years, two teenage daughters and a grandma, all driving me nuts. I heard about Burning Man. So 2003, I loaded up my truck, went out to Burning Man all by myself. So I heard there was drugs, sex, and rock and roll out there. I went out there, and it wasn't the drugs, it wasn't the sex, it wasn't the rock and roll, it was the artwork. The artwork just really, really inspired me. And not inspired me, awed me. <gasps> and some of the artwork was 80 feet tall. Some of it was 100 feet tall. And that really inspired me. I came home, quit my job, and said, I want to be an artist. So that was in 2003. And very arrogant of me now looking back at that that I thought I could make a living in my artwork um, so I'm not really making a good financial rewards but mental rewards are enormous so I'm very happy in what I do financial I hope will come if it doesn't I'm still happy better than somebody making a million dollars a year and hating it I make 10,000 a year and I love it so big difference there this is one of my first projects here this is Dodge this is Dart this is made out of a 73 Dodge Dart. So I like to tell everybody I took a 175 horsepower car and made one horse out of it. And uh, I just keep on building now. So I get very inspired uh, to do stuff. And luckily I have the resources, the place, the knowledge, and so far the energy to do it. My father was a collector. He just collected stuff. I'm a collector. I collect stuff. Mostly cars, but anything that is interesting is what I like to collect. So uh, most of this stuff is car related here, but when I drive around a lot of it is found objects I find on the side of the road. A lot of it I go to junkyards, I just see something, some gears or something that's interesting, I collect it. And uh, after doing this for so many years a lot of my friends just come and drop stuff off here. So I acquire stuff all the time. I do recycle it, so I'm a recycling artist. It all gets recycled. It does not go into the dump. It goes into the scrap metal yard they take it, refine it, and it should come back as a bucket of nails. So that's just a joke, but it's all refined or recycled and comes back as to whatever. When I think of something, I can see it very clearly in my mind. The funniest thing, though, between my mind and actually building it, a lot of things change. So I envision one thing, but as I am building it, uh, a piece of weld goes here, something falls off there, it falls over and gets a dent in it. Sometimes I like it and enhances it. Sometimes it doesn't enhance it and I have to fix whatever broke or whatever changed. But I see it in my mind and I just start building. You know, I think there's a bit of artist in every one of us. To try and bring it out is the hard part. From the youngest kid to my grandma who's 105. So when I build a piece, I want everybody to enjoy it. White, black, young, old, religious, not religious. And that is my hope for it anyways. I like people to come on and see my artwork, touch my artwork, actually interact with it. So when uh, a painter draws a painting and somebody looks at it, it's no big deal. But when they go, oh, I love it, oh, look at the colors, that really makes a painter feel good. On that same venue, when I do a sculpture and people actually get on it, climb on it, play with it, that really makes me feel good. So. Dart is a perfect example. Dart's in my front yard. I see the kids walking home from school and they're putting grass and bananas in his mouth. Gosh, that's the best thing they could ever be doing is actually interacting with it.